Hey, and welcome to Girl Be Free, a podcast designed to help women get unstuck and cultivate the life you want on your terms. I'm Siobhan, your host, and I'm passionate about empowering women to live their best life. Each week, you'll hear pep talks that will inspire and push you to take action so you too can start to be free and live the life you want. You can learn more about me at BeFreeProject.com. Now let's jump into the show. Hey, hey, welcome back to another episode of the Girl Be Free podcast. As always, thank you so much for taking time to tune in today. So let's kick it off with what I am loving this week. And actually, I'm going to share with you a book called 365 Ways to Raise Your Frequency. And it's all about like focusing on your emotional, your personal, your mental and spiritual growth. And the reason that I wanted to share this book with you is because one of my goals for 2018, a personal goal that is, is to just do more personal growth and inner um, self work. And I want to really strengthen my spirituality. So not necessarily religion by any means, but definitely connect more with my spiritual self. And so I initially checked out this book from the library loved it and was like, oh my goodness, I need to own it so that I can highlight and take notes and all that jazz. So I ended up purchasing it and it is a really good read if you're someone who is looking to raise your spiritual vibration or your spiritual frequency and just grow as a person. And again, it's 365, I believe, excerpts for each day that is going to guide you to increase your spiritual frequency. And so each guide kind of follows the previous one. So they all connect together. So I really like it. Um, Really, really practical information that you can apply. Some of the guided excerpts you can kind of read over and over again until it resonates with you. But I love that it's very conversational. And I recently shared this book on Instagram stories. And then I was like, oh, I got to share with my podcast audience. So I hope you guys check it out. I will drop the link to it in the show notes for you to take a look at it. Next, I want to shout out one of my newsletter subscribers. She's a part of the Be Free family, and her name is Iris. And she sent me an email last week after my newsletter went out, which was titled um, Joy Comes in the Morning. And so in that newsletter, I shared some practical things that you can start to put in place if January was a bust and you feel like you just need to reset and start over in February. And so she emailed me and she was like, I would just like to add one thing to your list, which is to take a day of rest. And what she meant by that is to do absolutely nothing for a day that is work related. So she suggested to spend time with your family, to paint, read for pleasure, pray, meditate, sleep, journal, whatever you want to do, as long as it's not work related. And that includes no traveling and no chores. And I was like, yes, Iris, I needed to hear that because I do need to implement taking more days of rest. And I told her I will take that challenge and I'm going to add that into my routine because I do understand that when you take a break from everything, your creative juices will start to flow and and we need to give our minds a break. So thank you so much for sharing that with me, Iris. I told you I was going to shout you out on the podcast and I'm sure... My listeners need to hear that as well. And then if you're not subscribed to the Girl Be Free um, weekly newsletter, you can do that by clicking the link in the show notes. Sometimes it kind of complements the podcast, so it'll be the same theme. And then sometimes it's something totally different, whatever is on my heart that I feel like I need to share. So definitely make sure that you subscribe. All right, on to today's topic, which is do the work even when nobody's checking for you. And so this is going to be a lot of like more so a story and it's going to all connect together. So I want you to follow me. Um, When I started Be Free Project um, back in 2014, it was more so to blog and share like my experiences as an entrepreneur and then also my personal growth, like um, and self-discovery work that I was doing. And then I also offer one-on-one coaching. And as I was building my business and growing and doing all these amazing things, I realized that I wanted to connect with other like-minded individuals. 
more specifically women, where we could have conversations that I wasn't necessarily having with my girlfriends, but conversations that was going to, um, I guess, expand my mind and talk about our dreams and our goals and our vision and our purpose. And it was a safe space. And when I went looking for something like this, I couldn't find it. And so we all have heard the quote or the saying, create what you wish existed. And so that is exactly what I did. And I started these at the time. I don't even know if I was calling them Be Free Life classes. Maybe I was. I can't recall. But I started gathering women together to have a safe space where they can connect with other positive, like-minded women and have conversations that they weren't necessarily having on a day-to-day basis, but that would challenge their mind, that would expand them to grow and really start to think about how they can be free and get unstuck and live the life that they desired. And then also to hear stories from other women who were on the same journey as them. And so that was the initial, um, I guess, mission behind starting the Be Free Life classes. It was more so personal. And I know, I knew that, you know, like working at home, it got really lonely and I just wanted to connect with other women. And so I, would host these monthly events just for women to have a space to breathe and be free and let go with no intention, but just filling a gap that I felt needed to be filled. Okay. So there has been many times where I have packed out the room, y'all, where there were no seats left. And then there has been times where only three people showed up. But no matter what, whether it was three people or the room was packed with over 20 women, I continued to have these events um, whenever it allowed, you know, my schedule allowed for me to have them. So sometimes they would be every other month or maybe once a quarter. Sometimes I would do a series. It just really depended on what was going on in my life. And each time the theme would be something different that we could all grow from. Occasionally I would bring in, um, I would say an expert in her field where she can come and share her story and teach us about what she's doing in her business so we can grow. And then I would, of course, do my thing where I would talk about like personal growth and personal development, things like that. And so I just kept doing it again, whether the room was packed, whether it was a few people in the room, because I knew that women needed to have this type of space that I was creating, I continued to do it. And I've continued with this up to this point where now I'm having events twice per month. And I started having them twice per month because people started asking, well, when is the next event? Or I would love to network with other women. And so now I have two different types of events and I'm going to drop the link in the show notes because I wrote up a whole page on my website that will kind of break down what each event um, is so that you can kind of feel your way and see which one you want to attend. And as I've continued to have these events and people started asking when they were happening, um, Again, now I'm having them more frequently. And then I've also realized that people were traveling to see me um, and traveling almost like um, over seven hours coming from Maryland and New York and Detroit, all these different places that people were traveling to attend my events. So that's another reason why I started having them more frequently. So I've been doing this work specifically, well, actually my business in a whole, it'll be four years Um in a couple of weeks, February 21st to be exact. And again, I've been doing it consistently every single time, right? For four years. Now, as of yesterday, actually, um, I am now contracted to work with the city of Cleveland to do exactly what I've been doing for four years in my own business. Now I'm getting um, paid from the city to do the same type of work for the employees of the city of Cleveland. That is major, so major, so huge. It's going to be an amazing opportunity for my brand um, to get in front of new faces, to have another extension of my business, to do this type of work. And I'm sharing this because it's all tying in together that even when nobody was asking me um, when was the next event or when people were driving hours to attend, I kept showing up every single time because I knew that there was a need. And now I'm being contracted with the city of Cleveland for the whole year, y'all, the whole 2018 to do exactly what I have been doing for four years. And I want that to sit with you for a moment. 
I have been doing the work for four years and now this opportunity has come my way where now I'm doing the exact same thing that I've been doing, but now for the city. Let me tell you how this happened because I think that this is important to note as well. About a year and a half ago, I had taken my children to a kid's cooking class and I was waiting for them in the lobby while, and the young lady walks in and she was like, be free. That's what people call me. Like, you know, they be free project. So they say be free. And I'm like, yeah, that's me. And she was like, thank you. So her name is Brittany. Actually, I want to shout her out. And she was like, thank you so much for the work that you're doing. You're inspiring women. I'm so encouraged by you. Can I just give you a hug? And I said, sure. And so she gives me a hug and she goes on her way. I continue to wait on my children. But later that day, I wrote up a post about it. And I said, you know, you never know who's watching you and who's inspired by your work. And I said, she didn't know. But in that very moment, I needed to be encouraged because I had a lot on my mind. And in that space or in that moment, she encouraged me by asking me for a hug and telling me to keep doing the work that I was doing and the impact that it was making in a moment when I needed it most, right? So I want you just to keep that in mind. Fast forward to now, or actually December, a young lady reaches out to me via email and she said, we're looking for someone to come to the city of Cleveland to teach workshops on personal growth, self-development, all that jazz. I said, okay, cool. You know, we hop on the phone, we talk, a few email exchanges and all that jazz. I go meet with her. Um, I tell her everything that I do. I've given her a list of all the classes that I've already taught y'all with the Be Free Life classes. She tells me they want all the classes and how much they're going to pay and all that jazz. Freaking amazing, right? So that's that. And I said, oh, okay, this is great. I'm excited. We started, actually, we kicked off yesterday. I was a speaker for their luncheon and I start teaching classes next week. I asked her, I said, well, how did you find out about me? And she said, oh, my sister, Brittany, told me about you. She told me I should come to some of your events. You're doing great things for women. And I said, oh, man, I know a lot of Brittany's. That didn't help. Her sister ends up sending me a DM. And she says, that's my sister. And she was like, I've been telling her to come to your classes um, whenever her schedule allows. And she was like, and she has saved the post that I had written that day a year and a half ago when she gave me a hug. And I was like, wow. From that day, I had never spoke to Brittany after she hugged me at the um, at that day. I had never spoke to her again. Didn't even know she was still following and watching. But she had saved that post that I had written and was telling her sister about me. And so that is how I got connected. And so I'm sharing that to tell you so many different things. You never know who is watching and who's being inspired by your work. And there are days where you're going to feel like nothing is working and you're going to feel like quitting altogether. And you're going to feel like, man, when is my moment going to come? And what I want to share with you is that you have to do the work every single day, whether you feel like it or not, you have to show up for yourself. When there is no one looking at you, you have to do the work. When there is no one giving you the high fives and the praise or saying, hey, girl, I see you, you still have to do the work. When nobody is liking your social media posts and giving you comments and any of that jazz or watching your IG stories or watching your Facebook live, you still got to do the work. You have to do the work every single day with excellence and consistency. And you do the work because it's your purpose. You do it because you're passionate about it. You do it because you know that you are making a positive impact in the world. You do it because you love it, right? And you're not waiting to be seen. You're doing it knowing that at some, you know, at some point your moment will come. And trust me when I say this, if you do the work every single day and you're doing it from a place of wanting to help and serve other people day in and day out, you're showing up for yourself. You cannot tell me that at some point your life is not going to turn around. You cannot do the work every single day and then nothing positive come from that. I'm not going to believe that. So when you commit to waking up at five in the morning, you're spending your lunch break, you're going to bed a little bit later to work on your dreams, your goals, your vision. At some point, something is going to shift in your life, but you have to do the work, especially when you don't feel like 
nobody is checking for you, when nobody is engaging, when you feel like quitting, when you feel like giving up, this is why you need a tribe or at least one person that is going to be in your corner that's going to encourage you. So you have to do the work. And I am a prime example. I right now, and I told y'all like, there was like the end of last year and the beginning of this year, just waiting on opportunities to come and doing the work and feeling like nobody was paying attention, but someone is always watching. This is the same thing that happened. Um, or this is how I was able to be a moderator at blog Alicious last year because the, um, founder Stacy was watching and she saw the work that I was doing and she reached out to me and asked me to work with this brand. And it was an amazing opportunity for me right? To go to Miami and be a moderator um, for this particular brand and, you know, basically elevate my brand to another level. And now this new opportunity with the city of Cleveland, I mean, things are moving. And I will tell you, the only way that these opportunities are starting to come my way is because I am consistent. I am disciplined. I am operating in my purpose and I'm doing it every single day. So I want to motivate you. I want to encourage you. I want to inspire you. And I want to push you to just show up for yourself this year. And again, I told y'all that's going to be my theme. Every single day, you got to show up for yourself and you got to do the work. It's not going to be easy. There are going to be days when you feel like quitting, but you got to keep going no matter what. And at some point, you're going to see a shift and you're going to start reaping the benefits. I was teaching these be free life classes every single, you know, time that I could for the last four years, right? Multiple times per year, not knowing that this opportunity was going to come my way. And I know, and I believe it, that this is just the beginning. The more doors are about to open. Like this is about to like just shift things in a whole nother way. And so I am very grateful for this opportunity. I cannot wait (laughs) until next week where I'm able to kind of teach the things that I've already been teaching to a whole new group of people because this is going to be men and women. So I'm excited about that. And I'm sharing this because I want to encourage you. And I always tell you, you cannot listen to me for a minimum of five minutes and not be motivated to take action in your own life. So I want to hear from you. I want you to reach out to me. My email is always in the show notes. You can always reach out to me on Instagram or Twitter or what have you. And let me know what what are you doing? What are your wins? You know, reach out to me, connect with me. I want to be inspired by some of the things that you're doing as well. Um, and so your action step for this week is actually coming from the free your mind journal that I wrote. Um, and it's a journal prompt and I want you to journal during your time, your journal time for at least, you know, however many minutes you spend. And the question is, or the prompt is what motivates you to do your very best? What motivates you to do your very best? And if you want to send me your response, you feel free to email me. That's cool. Um, Or, you know, DM me or something like that on Instagram or Facebook and let me know what motivates you to do your very best. Okay. Um, I also want to share with you that I have um, a free email challenge that you can sign up for. If you want to focus on shifting your mindset and letting go of some of those negative beliefs so that you can embrace positive thinking, and it's called the five days to mindset shift challenge. And I know that in order to do the work, you got to change the way that you think. So I'll drop that link to that free challenge in the notes as well. So you can sign up for that if you choose to. A few announcements that I want to make is that I'm having a be free meetup, which is this upcoming Friday. February 9th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Um, and again, that's for networking, and inspiring conversations and connecting with other positive like minded women. And then I'm having the Clarity Crash Course workshop on February 24th. And that's from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Both events are happening in Cleveland, Ohio. However, anywhere you're at, you're totally welcome to come. I'll drop the link for both of those in the show notes so you can check that out. And then I wanted to share this too. I love, 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 love music. I mean, I love music more than TV. Like I can go without TV, but I cannot go without music. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to start sharing with y'all some of the songs that I'm listening to. And so this week I saw on my friend Lauren's Instagram stories, she shared this song called um, Sweet Holy Honey by Sango and Xavier Omar. 
Y'all, this song is so good. It's such a vibe. Totally check it out. Let me know what you think. Um, but yes, it's called Sweet Holy Honey by Sango and Xavier Omar. And you can find it on Spotify as well as um, Apple Music that I know of. All right. So that is everything that I want to share with you today. Thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, girl, be free. Thank you so much for listening. Your support means the world to me. Don't forget to subscribe so that you never miss an episode. And if you're feeling really fancy, go ahead and leave a review. Until next time, be free and live.